Welcome back to Vore's Physical Media Rant. I'm Vanessa. <laughs> and today we're going to do, I've got some announcements from Umbrella, from Eureka, and we got a movie from Cauldron Films. So let's jump right in. We've got from Umbrella is Upstream Color. It's on Blu-ray. The release date is May 22nd. There is a collector's edition, which is going to be $55. This is only available at an umbrella. It's got a custom design, rigid outer slip case, a custom art slip case, a 48 page book, eight art cards, an A3 reversible poster, and it's a limited edition number release. It is from 2013, and there's also a slipcase version for $30. Okay, then we have Primer. This came out in 2004. It's a Blu-ray as well. The release date is May 22nd. This has a collector's edition as well, which is $55. This is only available at Umbrella. It's got a custom design rigid outer slipcase, a custom art slipcase, a 48 page book, eight art cards, an A3 reversible poster. It's also a limited edition number release and there is a slipcase version that is $30. Next from 2023 is You'll Never Find Me Blu-ray. Release date is May 22nd. There is a collector's edition for $20. It's just got a slip case and a 20 page booklet. And then uh, the last one is from 2009 called Trash Humpers Blu-ray. There's actually three different editions to this one. So the release date is May 22nd. The first edition is the VHS Collector's Edition, which is $85. This is only available at Umbrella. It's official VHS release with full length feature of Trash Humpers with custom slipcase, a replica press kit booklet, a 48 page book, a custom designed rigid outer slipcase, a custom art slipcase, eight art cards, an A3 reversible poster, and it's also a limited edition number release. The next one from that is a collector's edition, which is $55. That is also only available at Umbrella. It's got a custom design rigid outer slip case, a custom art slip case, a 48 page book, eight art cards, an A3 reversible poster, and it's also a limited edition number release. And the last version is a slipcase version for $30. You want me to do this one too? Okay, next we have Eureka. Okay, it, it had the first one is Prison Walls, Abashir Prison, one through three. If I said that wrong, I apologize. Okay, so on Eureka's site, it's $28.99 pounds, which converts to $36.58. This is a Blu-ray. On Diabolical DVD, it's $38.99. It is region B locked though. And the numbers are 285 to 287. It has a limited edition O card slipcase featuring new artwork and it is limited to 2000 units. It also has a collector's book that comes with the limited edition slipcase. So again, that's only for 2000 units. It has a 1080p HD presentation of all three films from restorations of the original film elements. It's got a optional English subtitles newly translated for this release and the release date is May 27th. Next we have a Queen's Ransom. On the Rika site, it is £17.99, which comes out to $22.70. It is a Blu-ray. On Diabolical DVD, it is $26.99. It is region B locked. It also has a limited edition 
O card slipcase featuring new artwork, which is limited to 2,000 units. It has a 1080p HD presentation on Blu-ray of the original Hong Kong theatrical cut from a brand new 2K restoration. It also has a 1080p HD presentation on Blu-ray of the original English language export cut from a brand new 2K restoration. So I'm guessing it's got two films on this one of the same film. Same film. Yeah, just one's the export cut and then the theatrical cut. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the optional English subtitles, newly translated for this release. A reversible sleeve featuring original poster artwork. The collector's booklet is limited to 2,000 units. Release date is May 27th. Next, we got Valiant Ones. There is a Blu-ray and a 4K of this release. So on Eureka's site for the Blu-ray, it's £17.99, which converts to $22.70. On Diabolical DVD, it's $26.99. It is Region B locked. The number is 288. It has a limited edition O card slipcase featuring new artwork, which is limited to 2,000 units. It has a 1080p HD presentation on Blu ray from a 4K digital restoration of the original negatives. It has the optional English subtitles, newly translated for this release. The, there's a booklet as well for that's limited to 2,000 units. The release date is May 27th. And then they have the 4K of Valiant Ones, which is £24.99, which converts to $31.53. That is on the Eureka site. On Diabolical DVD, it is $32.99. It's the same number as the Blu-ray, which is 288. It has a 4K Blu-ray presentation presented in Dolby Vision HDR from a 4K digital restoration of the original negatives. It has a limited edition O card slipcase featuring new artwork, which is limited to 2000 units and the booklet as well and optional English subtitles newly translated for this release. And I'm going to let him do the Cauldron Films. Next up is uh, Cauldron Films after that long list. Of... Yeah. <laughs> this one is uh, Houses of Doom. Fully uncut, four discs, two CDs. That's cool. You get two music CDs with it. Mm -hmm. The scores, I'm assuming. Yeah. All those on Blu-ray for $94.99. All region. So that's nice. Make it region free. All orders prior to Monday 318 will receive a limited Houses of Doom metal keychain. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Some swag. Okay, then. We're going to start with this one. This one includes the House of Clocks from 1989. A Lucio Fossi film. Mm -hmm. This is probably going to be good. Yeah. The 2K restoration from the original negative. And that also includes a poster. Disc 2 is the CD of the Houses of Clocks. Disc 3, which is also from 1989, is the Sweet House of Horrors, which is another Foshi film. That's cool. We've got some mm -hmm. Foshi films in that. 2K scan of the original negative, also a poster. Disc 4, obviously, is the CD of the Sweet House of Horrors. Mm -hmm. Disc 5 is also from 1989. It's the House of Witchcraft. It's an Umberto Lenzil film. The two Lindsay. K, Lindsay film? Okay. It's, it's 2K I. scan from an original negative halftime. I can't read her fucking Sorry. Rating, so. <laughs> I need to put But this off. is the, a poster with this also. And the last one is Disc 6, The House of the Lost Souls from 1989. That's an Umberto Lindsay film also. So we got two Umbertos and two we'll Oshi just... films. Also with a 2K scan from the original negative and uh, poster with that one also. All for fully uncut and for $94.99. That's actually a pretty good pretty deal. Good, pretty good deal, especially with all these, uh, the Italian films, because they're rather, they can be rather pricey. Yeah. But um, tomorrow the big one. we got the Vinegar Syndrome announcements coming. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to be right on top of that. So hopefully uh, Screen Factory is going to be announcing the uh, 
their announcements officially here soon. Yes. I was hoping it was going to be today, but it was not. Mm -hmm. But um, look for that video. Once again, like. Give us some comments. Hardly any comments yet. I don't know if y'all are scared or you don't want to do comments, but keep them respectful. But give us some comments what your favorite Fulci film is. Or any Fulci film that you think that we should check out. Yeah. Or any Italian director mm -hmm. that you you think is good. Because I, I haven't checked out too much uh, Italian uh, horror. No, we've watched what? i watched Demons. Demons. And of course, uh, what, Zombie. Mm -hmm. And of course, Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah. Stuff like that, but nothing like big. But um, anyway, that's it for this uh, video. Like, comment, keep subscribing, get your butts moving. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Back, back with vinegar. Yep. Have a good one. Bye.